I want to show you some things that have changed in the 15.3 version of Shotcut. Let's go ahead and open up a video. The first thing you'll notice is that the there used to be volume and peak meters displayed on the right hand side of the player and that has changed now. The volume control is a button on the transport controls toolbar for the player. There's a mute button still at the bottom of that volume control. And the peak meter can be opened by clicking the toolbar icon. Another thing that you'll notice is that the peak meter now is monitoring the project volume and does not is not affected by the volume control of the player. That way you can properly monitor the level of your project. In addition, let's go ahead and rewind it. In addition, if you go to view scopes, there's now an audio waveform display. And we took particular care to make sure that as you're stepping through frame by frame, you could actually see the results displayed in the scopes. Now let's say we uh, trim out a portion of this here and add it to the playlist. There's a new playlist update button basically if you um, open a playlist item by double clicking it and you make some adjustments then you can quickly and easily update that item in the playlist by just clicking the check mark and now you may be wondering why we don't do auto update well there's a feature where you can open up any playlist item and you can select trim out another shot from the same clip and add it to the playlist. So obviously if you were doing auto update it would be affecting the first item while you're trying to prepare, prepare the second item. So That's the uh, update button. It'll um, basically be disabled until you make some kind of a change. It could be trimming or adding a filter. Speaking of filters, the other change is that in the filter menu, when GPU processing is enabled, we used to have a separate GPU filter menu and video filter menu. Well, that's consolidated now into the video filter menu, and you can differentiate them by their icons in the second column here. One icon looks like a video monitor and the other one looks like a chip and that's your GPU filters.